Hey guys, Easy Tech over here. This week, I want to show you how to make a program on Inspire and how to access it on your library. Let's get to it. To write a program, we need to use the power of black magic and resurrect its ancestor, the Inspire Original. Actually, you can do this in any Inspire. So to create a program, we need to insert a new program editor. And if you don't know how to, check the suggestions on top. Now, the name of the program. You know when you're in class and you have that issue when you're talking to the one next to you and you spot a nice hot ass hot damn across the classroom. But you disagree on the girl or guy's 1 to 10 score? Well, this program is very useful for that and will be the exact solution for that problem. So the name the score. Now, it's a program and will be a public access library. Now, hit OK. Uh, no spaces. Hit OK. And then we have the score program. Here, we don't need any input because we are going to request the user for our values. Now, we need to first ask if it's a girl or a guy, right? So, we need to go to menu, input, output, and then request a string, which is letters. Now, we need to ask what variable we are asking. So, is it a guy or a girl? Now, we store it on our hot s variable. And now we know if it's a guy or a girl. So, if it's a girl, we need to treat different from if it's a guy. So, we go to menu and if, then else. So, if our hot s it's a girl. Now we use equal because it's to compare. So if hot s is a girl, then we ask which is the score for the variables face and body. Here we go to input output and request again. A request for the face score and then store it in our face variable now again for the body to menu input output request body score now that we have the body and the face we need to calculate the score of the girl. We are going to say that is 70% body and 30% face, right? Maybe not. Well, I'm sure you'll have fun discussing that in the comments. <laughs> Moving on. To calculate the score, then we need to attribute a value, which is going to be through this equal, here in control and this button is going to be 30% face and 70% body. Then we need to display our score, right? In menu, input, output and disp for display. Now we need to say what we are going to output. So score and then just use the variable score. Now we have the girl's score. However, we need the guy's score, right? Well, how do we calculate the guy's score? From the girl's perspective, that might be a bit tricky. So please do comment about this. I'm going to leave it like this, so I don't create more polemics. And now, 
we need to say which variables our program uses in here. So we are going to menu and then define variables here to local. So it's the local variables of the program. Here we, we used hot ass, we used face, body and score, right? Now just save it as we did last time to control B for storing the program and control S for the program. Here in my lib we give the document the name we want. So score for example. And then we save it. And just like last time we go to the scratch pad for example and then dock and refresh the libraries and then go to the libraries and here we have it the document score and the, the score program now we don't need the input so just enter to use it and is it a guy or a girl just type for example girl in this case we just have girl and then the face score she's very cute so for example a nine and the body will be more like a 7 or a 6, for example, uh, 6.5. And here we have it. For this week, that's it. If you have any comments or suggestions, you know what to do. And If, if you, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And to stay updated, subscribe. See you next week.